What's happening, guys? This is Hyper Paradox, and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. We're just chilling out with the Sledgehammer Brothers, but where we really want to be is this cave. Now that we have super hammers, we can break gray rocks, and inside we find a wand. Now, you can pay him 200 coins, and he will summon three rocks that you can break one of them with. And one of them holds a special surprise. That was not it, unfortunately. So let us try again. One rock contains nothing. Another rock contains coins, but it's always going to be more coins than the amount you paid. And the third one contains this! You got a Secret Scroll 1. With the Secret Scroll, with this one at least, you can use a new Brothers attack in battle. And in this case, we will learn the Swing Brothers attack. I will be sure to demonstrate it at one point in the project. But right now, I need to head to Bean Bean Castle Town, so I'm going to cut the video, and I will see you guys when I get there. Hear ye, hear ye, we are back in Bean Bean Castle Town. We actually want to head into this building. I don't know, I believe I entered it in a previous video, but this is the Star Beans Cafe. This is where you actually use the beans you've been collecting. You can blend certain number of beans in order to create drinks. In this case, I'm using 25 Woohoo be beans to make a Woohoo blend. But uh-oh, a power outage? I don't think so. You've got a bad feeling about this. Well, you should have a bad feeling since this song is playing. Hey, it's a ghosty! A ghost that Luigi is none too happy to be reunited with. But look! It's drawn out all the ghosts in this place. Who knew ghosts like coffee? But that's unimportant right now! Believe it or not, the owner of the Starbeans Cafe is none other than one of my favorite characters in the Mario series, Professor E. Gad. So he made his debut in, uh, in case you guys don't know, he made his debut in Luigi's Mansion back in 2001, I believe, and he made a... He was mentioned in Super Mario Sunshine, but I think this is actually the first time he appears in a handheld console. Which is pretty sweet, I have to admit. Now, every time you make a blend, EGAD will actually give you something in return. And, for the first blend, he will give us the Greed Wallet. Now, I'm actually going to wait until I have made all three of the blends that I can make, for now. Let's, uh, use 25 Chuckle Beans in order to make the Chuckle Blend. The Chuckle Blend is actually... Remember, you can find Chuckle Beans underground in certain marked locations. Another fragrantly rich aroma. What great timing, indeed. The scent of that new drink drew me in. From over the hills and across the sea, I came walking. That does sound slightly exaggerated, if you ask me, but even then, he's right. That is some nose he's got. Sure, you may have a sample of the drink. And apparently it tastes delicious. And in return, he gives us the bonus ring. But I think he might have drank a little bit too much. Yeah, if you're blue in the face, that's never a good thing. Where's the restroom? That is a good question. Boss, you never built any toilets in this place. Okay, back up for a minute. What kind of restaurant 
doesn't have a restroom in it. That just does not make any sense. Oh well, Luigi is going to jump to action and do the proper thing and vacuum up the professor. So there's your lesson for today, kids. If your friend is blue in the face after drinking too much, the cure is vacuuming him up. Now we need 25 Teehee Beans. Remember, you earn Teehee Beans for completing additional levels in the mini-games. Ready to go! What will, profess what will the professor unleash on us now? Once again, I've come from afar because of the scent of a new kind of bean juice. And he has brought with us the improved Super Poltergust 3001. Remember, the Poltergust 3000 was uh, the vacuum that Luigi used to vacuum up the ghosts in Luigi's mansion. Except this one actually can be ridden on and has a turbine jet engine. But what would happen if you actually rode it near something flammable? As I always say, it would be a fine start, but a fiery finish, if I do say so. I'd better not drink more, or else I too might become a ghost. And for the Teehee Blend, we get the Excite Spring. What shall I invent next? How about a drink that won't make you sick, Professor? That might be a thought at the very least. But anyway, I'm going to explain what the, um, what the items do, the special items. Uh, by the way, uh, the, uh, the, if you drink the blends, your, one of your HP, one of your stats will slightly increase. Now, the items are in the, are in this area. Uh, I'm going to, equip the greed wallet the greed wallet will actually double the coins you get after def after winning a battle which is pretty awesome as for the bonus rings you don't lose hp in battle for an experience bonus that can also help and as for the third item the excite spring that lets you hold the button when you're jumping to float for a brief period of time uh, that can be useful in certain situations, but it is a little awkward to use. So I'll just stick with the Greed Wallet and the Double Bonus Ring. Now, I think it is time for us to do what Prince Peasley said and head to Bean Bean International Airport. The airport is to the right of Chucklehuck Woods. It is, in fact, it is down here. And we will need Luigi's Thunder Hand to activate both of the electric orbs in order to, in order to, you know, um, create the bridge. Ah, I cannot think of what to say. And here we are in the airport. But let's, and there's Lady Lima's assistant. Go to the runway up ahead. But let's see what you say. I'm terribly sorry, but Chuckle Cola is prohibited on airplanes. Any soda will be confiscated. What, they're worried about the plane becoming consumed by soda bubbles? Dangerous, deadly soda bubbles? I don't understand the logic in that. But it's Lady Lima. We haven't heard from her in a while. And we have been praised for our efforts at the Hooniversity. Unfortunately, Princess Peach's air flight has been delayed because there are piranha plants that are littering the runway. And Luigi is going to take the direct approach and try to remove them by hand, but he thinks that's too much trouble, so he's going to enjoy a spot of tea instead. So let us show Lady Lima the, worry, the work ethic of the Mario Brothers. Now, we actually want to talk to her again, because even if you beat these piranha plants in battle, the roots sprout new plants almost immediately. We've been looking forever for some other way to defeat them. Now, you might ask yourself, 
how do you defeat them? Well, it involves this watering hole. Believe it, they always say that water is good for the plants. Let us put that theory to the test. So we want to soak these plants. And afterwards, what we want to do is put Luigi in front and zap him with the Thunder Hand. That will get rid of them for good. And there is also this giant, grotesque-looking pink egg in the runway. I really don't like the look of that egg. And as you notice, every time you uh, permanently eliminate one of the piranha plants, one of the vines will disappear. So we want to go farther back to this watering hole. And that guy over there will tell you how to get rid of the piranha plants if you don't already know how. So, one more hit. And there we go. That is number three, I believe. Yes, it is. There are five in all. And I didn't want you to feel left out, so let's deal with you as well. Here's a lesson, kids. Whenever you have giant mutated killing killer plants in your backyard garden, be sure to spray some water on them and unleash a jolt of electricity. Have Pikachu use Thunderbolt on it, if Pikachu did exist in this game, of course. But not what, but right now, let's rally! I'm actually doing pretty well so far. Oh, never mind. That always happens. Now we have one more piranha plant to deal with. And we want Princess Peach here, but we don't want you here. So let's deal with you. Alright, here we go. That's the way the world goes round. I have no idea why I said that, but what I do know is that thing looks really, really nasty. So yeah, we have a boss fight coming up, but fortunately we are good on stats and health. This is Mom Piranha. Now, the first thing you might notice about Mom Piranha is that she is always surrounded by two piranha plants. Now, the way they attack is that if they gnash their teeth, they gnash their teeth, then send an energy ball at you. If they're looking up while they gnash their teeth, they attack Mario. If they don't, they attack Luigi. And as for Mom herself, she is going to unleash an energy ball on you, which you can hit back at her occasionally. Uh, but as long as she has a piranha plant out, she will continuously gain health. Now that color she is is not just for show. If she is red in color, that means she is vulnerable to the opposite element. In this case, Luigi. 44 damage for a hand power, which is pretty awesome. And she'll change color. So now she will, her plants will attack with thunder. And now she is vulnerable to Mario. And believe it or not, fire actually does more damage than lightning. But every time you do attack Mom Piranha, the plants will counterattack. So we will want to repeatedly deal with those plants, unfortunately. Or, in other cases, you could just ignore them altogether and just focus on Mom Piranha herself. I believe one other attack she has is that she likes to slap you with her vines. Just jump over those in order to avoid that. So this battle is a little tricky, but it's nothing too dangerous. And that's mainly because the plants won't do anything. And I just want to test a theory here. Yeah, don't bother with jump attacks because they will not they will only do one HP worth of damage due to that eggshell on her head. 
Oh, now she's using her vines. But the good news is, is that she's not doing very much damage to me either. So, unfortunately, I cannot use my new Swing Brothers against her because she won't take any... she won't take much damage. It is a jump-based attack, I believe. She does have quite a bit of health, though. A lot more than I thought she did. Sometimes the uh, energy shots the Piranha Plants will send at you will miss altogether, but I'd still jump with both brothers just to be safe. And there we go! She is gone! And we get 412 experience and a Spiny Badge A. Very nice. <laughs> Way to go, Luigi. Alright. And I think we will take a Chuckle Bean for our reward. Yeah, there are a lot of Chuckle Beans on the, uh, air on the runway. Alright, let's see. Well done, Mario Brothers. Now we can welcome Princess Peach to our fair kingdom. Uh-oh, something... Something pink this way comes, actually. But anyway, it's the same uh, jet that she flew in at the beginning of Super Mario Sunshine. I might LP that game in a later date. But let us go back to the court gardens. Wait, but why would we want Princess Peach? Her voice was stolen. Hush, everyone! Princess Peach, representative of the Mushroom Kingdom, brings greetings. Uh-oh! Duck for cover! Wait a minute! That sounds like Princess Peach's voice. But what?! I don't get it. Oh ho ho ho. Oh, terribly amusing. Yes, come now, don't be so startled. You see, I must tell you, Princess Peach's voice was never stolen. What a shock. I actually did not see this coming. I knew Cacletta was after the royal voice, so I beat them to the castle and warned the princess. That's some solid work there, Prince Peasley, but at least you could have flashed your hair for us. Oh look, and she's telling Toadsworth to be quiet. This is the Princess Peach whose voice was stolen. Hey, it's Birdo! And that is why the Beanstar reacted so strangely to her voice. No, I'm not going to get into the debate about whether Birdo is a he or a she. That's been done on YouTube once too often. As you can see, every card in our hand truly was better than theirs. I have to admit, that was pretty solid thinking on their part. When the pair of you came rushing to the castle, I intended to tell you the truth immediately, but Bowser beat you there, and I lost my chance to spill the beans, so to speak. Nice. I see what you did there, Princess Peach. But you defeated Cacoletta nonetheless, and that is something to be congratulated for. Yes, it is. By the way, there's no sign of what's left of the Bean Star. It apparently broke into four pieces, which seem to be lost. And so, I am off yet again. I must sally forth to look for the pieces of the Bean Star. You two can relax here and enjoy some sightseeing in our kingdom with Fair Princess Peach. We've actually done quite a bit of- There's the hair flash I was looking for! But we've actually done quite a bit of sightseeing, so... Let's see what Princess Peach is discussing with Queen Bean. Oh, Master Mario! Spot on timing! Mario, Luigi, I was just speaking with Queen Bean. She tells me there is a mushroom town in Bean Bean Kingdom called Little Fungi Town. Do you know of it? No, we don't. It is a town full of toads who have immigrated to this land. Since we have come all the way to this land, I wish to pay an official royal visit to Little Fungi Town. But wait! 
That's acceptable in theory, but to reach Little Fungi Town, you must go north through Teehee Valley. Teehee Valley is filled with vile monsters. It would be a little, no, very dangerous for Princess Peach. And because he is her steward, Toadsworth is vigorously opposed. However, if Mario and Luigi escorted her like the good guys that they are... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Luigi. Ever the butt monkey. Alright, we have our objective. We must go to Teehee Valley because Princess Peach wants to see Little Fungi Town. Now, um, I think I'm going to go, and I'm just going to cut to Teehee Valley because I won't lie to you, Teehee Valley is quite big, and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do it in this video. But what we actually want to do is we actually want to exit through the right side of the Bean Bean Kingdom. Uh, I could mention a little bit about Teehee Valley. Teehee Valley, it's gonna be a little bit more complicated because Princess Peach is with you. And when that time comes, I will be sure to mention. But first, just because I can, let's take care of this Lackapy. Alright, no match whatsoever as usual, but this is where the entrance to Teehee Valley is. It says, because of the Super Rock Slide, the route is impassable. Come equipped with Super Hammers if you hope to get through this way. You know, I'm going to end the video right here, so next time on Let's Play Super Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, we are going to enter Teehee Valley with Princess Peach, who's already there, and see if we can go to Little Fungi Town. Once again, if you like my videos, please be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe below. This is Hyper Paradox, signing off.